Hello everybody, me Ghost Critic and it's day 13 of my comic book Christmas countdown. There's only one more day to go before I start counting down my top 10 favourite issue number ones of 2016. So today we're looking and going back to DC. We've not seen them on my number one pull list of 2016 for quite some days. So here it is, Wonder Woman. Now any long-term reader of comics know that our top two publishing houses, DC and Marvel, love to bring their universes up to uh, an almost apocalyptic crescendo and then start everything all over again. And this is what they pretty much did with their new uh, run, I guess you'd call it, called Rebirth, where they started all their issues off at number one once again. And with Wonder Woman, a series, a solo series ongoing that I've never collected before, uh, Greg Rucker with a host of artists here. We've got Clark, Sharp, Parsons, Colwell and Martin. They look at who is Wonder Woman? We've had many, many interpretations of our female, kind of one of the trinity of DC characters, uh, Batman, Superman, and of course Wonder Woman. You know, Wonder Woman's been seen as like this warrior princess. She's been a secret spy. She's been a god in kind of Greek mythology. Um, and so what Rucker does really well here, uh, because he kind of has this fine line that he has to kind of tightrope across for not only keeping to, you know, those long-term readers who know about Wonder Woman um, and, and everything that's been happening to her, not just like decades ago, but, you know, in the last New 52 run, but also bringing in new readers. And it does very well here in showing all the many incarnations uh, of Wonder Woman. But what Greg Rucker and all his fellow artists, colorists and inkers want to do is find out basically which is the real one? What is this real truth? Uh, where has she come from? Where has she been? Who has been lying to her over these years? And it all kicks off here. Um, what Greg Rucker did, he did kind of two concurrent storylines, one coming out every other week. And this one was his kind of Wonder Woman year one, um, her beginnings, where she came from, uh, and her trying to find out with the help of one of what used to be her kind of mortal enemies, one of her nemesis, you may call her. Um, but I just really enjoyed this and it kind of grabbed me from the very beginning. It was a great introduction and like I said it really helped new and old readers not only catch up to where Wonder Woman is now but reintroduce her to a whole new slew of readers. I've loved this series, it's still on my pull list, it doesn't hurt me that this comes out every other week. But great series and if you haven't tried Wonder Woman before, this is a good place to start.